Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and this is Reggae Boys Commentary. I'm here with another video with you guys this weekend and I'm going to take things from a different dimension this week and focus on a present football player but a player that has not represented Jamaica in quite some time. In fact, last time he represented Jamaica was back in September of 2013 against Panama and that was in a World Cup qualifier and this player is none other than Jermaine Beckford. Well, who is Jermaine Beckford? Well, we know him quite well. He played at Leeds United in his earlier days. Uh, we remember him scoring against Manchester United and that FA Cup in, the, in 2010 to be specific. He went on to score against Tottenham as well that season. Remember that penalty kick that he scored? So he's really made some impact around, around England, you could say. Remember Everton as well. He scored in the Merseyside Derby and We've seen him recently as well, where he was at Bolton Wanderers, and now he is at Preston North End. And a good player. He was even at Leicester City as well. You know, he's had a. He was out there under coach Nigel Pearson at the time. He made his debut for Jamaica against Panama as well in March of 2013 in a 1-1 draw. And he's still only 32 years old. And and area that I would like to explore today is should he move to the MLS? It's a possibility and my simple answer to this question is yes, I think he should move to the MLS because this gives him more playing opportunities as well compared to where he is now in the championship in, in, in England with Preston North End. Despite, you know, averaging a goal per game throughout the a goal every other game throughout the course of his career for Jamaica, we saw that they didn't really click in the early stages. Six matches for Jamaica and only scored one goal. And that one goal came from a set piece in a 2-1 loss against the United States in June of 2013. What I find with Jermaine Beckford is for him to be successful, what we do need is a playmaker that, that, that operates in that number 10 position that will provide that final ball to him or someone that is whipping in the crosses from wide regions. And I found out that in 2013 we didn't really have that, those sorts of elements in our team and it's very unfortunate but I feel now with a bit more injection of not only pace in our team but a bit more flair with Simon Dawkins playing a little bit higher for the reggae boys, Joby Makinov cut, cutting in into the middle as well. We know Rudolf Austin will, will go from box to box but I think this is an opportunity for Jeremy Beckford to get back in the national team because Finishing is, is a big issue for us. If you look at since 2013 until now, we've only averaged one goal a game in all the matches that we've played. If you want to succeed in international football, you need to be averaging at least two goals a game. Unless you're playing a system that, like a 3-4-3 system or a 3-5-2 where you're just going to try to outscore your opponent. And I think moving to the MLS for Jeremy and Beckford would be a intelligent move for him because not only in terms of the playing time as well, but he's closer to Jamaica as well. So when we have international matches, he's much closer to home, less travel time as well. And he'll be familiar with a new league that will inject a bit of stamina in him because the MLS stresses so much about fitness and routine and time into the gym. And that 34 game a season compared to the 46 plus games that he plays in a championship, it's very hectic. It's very hectic on, on the legs of Jermaine Beckford coming from where he was as well. Because remember, you know, in the championship, if you finish in the playoff places, you're going to be playing at least 49 games a season. And let's not forget, again, the League Cup and the FA Cup as well. So we're talking about 50 plus games a season. And you can feel it for those international players in the championship as well, who play for Eastern European countries and other parts of the globe, you could say as well. In Jermaine Beckford's career, he's played 368 matches and he scored 156 goals. So this is about an average of one goal every 250 minutes, which is almost a goal every three games. When I was speaking about his goal per game ratio of a goal every other game, I was speaking in regards to what he was doing specifically in the twilight of his career in his mid-twenties to where he is now in his early thirties because the early stages of his career, it didn't really get going for him when he was out on loan to a number of clubs in the, in the early part of his career, where it didn't click as well, where he was at the likes of Carlisle and Scunthorpe, and he also had a few loan spells at Huddersfield Town, 
So those spells did not really click for the, the former Chelsea youth player. So we do hope that this is a move that he will consider. We see that will he move? That's the next consideration as well. Because if you look at his snaps on Snapchat, he's quite content with life in Lancashire. And you see on the weekends, he goes with his family to Merseyside to go and watch Liverpool and Everton matches. And he's snapping pictures of that. So to me, he looks comfortable in that environment. But I think moving to the MLS will give him that added momentum and push to kick on his career. We saw what happened to Bradley Wright Phillips. We saw Bradley Wright Phillips at uh, Primoth Argyle struggling, playing in League One football. Get him to the MLS, bam, 20 goals a season. And I think that this player has it in his locker room, Jeremy Beckford. And I still think he has a bit to offer for Jamaica as well. Who knows, the 2017 Gold Cup tournament could be his final hurrah for, for Jermaine Beckford. And I still think that he can show something different to our strikers as well. To a Darren Mattox, for an example. A Deva Orgil, for an another example there. So, there are options for us and we need to make use of these opportunities. And if you're looking at the nucleus of our team, a player like Jeremy Beckford would do well in our 23-man squads in the future. It is unlikely that he'll be part of our Copa America squad because he's not in the 40-player pool. But definitely for that Gold Cup tournament next summer, he is going to be crucial. And that is if we do well in our Caribbean Cup. What are your thoughts, Caribbean fans and Jamaican fans and fans across YouTube? Are you in agreement with what I think? Do you think that Jermaine Beckford's career as a Jamaican international is done? Should he just focus on club football? Well, let me know in the comments below and you can give me your, your feedback on that. And just to remind you as well, I did an interview over at Fox's Fans TV, the Leicester City Fans channel. I'll leave the link in the description below so you can have a look at it. And also don't forget to go and subscribe to them as well. Brilliant channel, brilliant channel and fabulous content you can look out for as well. Match reviews and, and everything around Leicester City. And even there's a few videos of fans celebrating so it's good to have a look at that content. It's quite rich and, and rewarding. So go over and subscribe to, to Fox's Fans TV. It's, very insightful and it's a very proud time for Leicester City so we wish them all the best and I look forward to seeing Leicester City and Captain Wes Morgan lifting up, up the trophy very soon so I'm Simon Preston don't forget to like share comment and subscribe